Number 20, BYD Auto 3, 33 lock. The BYD Auto 3 may feature an attractive price, but it's not an economy car by any means. No, it's a pretty respectable product with clear premium pretensions, especially when you look on the inside at that fancy looking dashboard that's filled with high quality materials and funky shapes. The Addo 3 looks nice, but practicality is probably its key strength. With the 2,720 millimeter wheelbase, it offers a solid amount of legroom, while 440 liters of boot space also seems quite impressive. But most importantly, the BYD Addo 3 impresses with its performance starting from a pretty capable 200 horsepower electric motor, which has enough power to move this SUV from zero to 100 kilometers an hour in a little bit over seven seconds. It comes coupled with a 60 kilowatt hour battery pack, which has enough juice to provide up to 521 kilometers of range and also features DC fast charging. So 80% of the battery gets recharged in about 50 minutes. Number 19, MG4 EV, 30 lock. The MG4 EV is one of the most anticipated EVs in India for this year. With the launch date scheduled for April, this electric hatchback has the potential to become one of the best sellers in a record short time because it has everything you would expect at this price range. The five-door hatchback layout ensures excellent practicality, while the cabin looks very promising with a nice selection of materials and a pretty generous offer of tech features, including a 10.25-inch infotainment screen which comes as part of standard equipment. The MG4 EV will be offered in two variants when it comes to the battery. Base models will come with a 51 kilowatt hour pack, which is expected to ensure around 320 kilometers on a single charge. If you're willing to pay extra, there will be a 64 kilowatt hour version on offer with a max range of 435 kilometers, according to the manufacturer. Depending on the battery choice, the electric motor is good for 168 or 201 horsepower, and in both cases, 0 to 100 kilometers an hour is under 8 seconds, while the top speed is 160 kilometers an hour. Number 18, BYD E6, 29 lakh. When we talk about affordable electric cars, small dimensions are one of the first things that come to mind. Well, that's not the case with the BYD E6 for about 29 lakh which would be less than $35,000 according to the current exchange rates, you can get a super practical minivan with pretty respectable dimensions. The wheelbase is around 2,800 millimeters, so it doesn't surprise that both rows offer a pretty generous passenger room. Moreover, the 580 boot space also feels quite respectable. As for the battery and performance, the BYD E6 is available in one configuration with a single electric motor that puts out around 95 horsepower. It's not much, but seems enough for a convenient ride. What's more important is the battery capacity, which goes up to 71.7 kilowatt hours, enough to provide up to 520 kilometers on a single charge. Speaking of charging, this electric MPV isn't impressive, but the 60 kilowatt DC fast charging doesn't disappoint either. Number 17, Hyundai Kona EV, 23 lakh. The Kona is a well-known and established player in the Indian market known for both all-electric and internal combustion versions. And with the recent redesign, it seems more competitive than ever. The modern crossover layout is still there, complemented by some pretty unique styling details that helped it stand out from the crowd. On the inside, this EV offers one of the nicest interiors in the price range, with a fine selection of materials and a generous offer of standard and available tech features. The base version started around 23 lakh or $28,700 if you prefer. For that sum, you get a single motor setup with a max power of 136 horsepower, enough to hit 100 kilometers an hour in about 8.8 .8 seconds and a top speed of over 160 kilometers an hour. Besides decent performance, the Hyundai Kona also utilizes a 39.2 kilowatt hour battery pack that provides up to 452 kilometers of range and features a DC charging rate of 50 kilowatts meaning that it takes a little bit under an hour to charge 80% of the battery. Number 16, Tata Harrier EV, 22 lakh. The Tata Harrier EV is an upcoming model that is expected to hit the market this summer with a starting price of around 22 lakh. It is certainly one of the most anticipated models for this year, and the company puts a lot of faith in it because it really has the potential to be a game changer with a combination of affordable price and its premium roots. Namely, the model will be based on the ICE-powered Harrier, which shares its DNA with Land Rover models. 
Therefore, it combines a luxurious interior with pretty impressive off-road capabilities. Now, the Harrier EV is about to bring all that into the EV segment. So far, the company has been keeping most details a secret, but we know that this five-door SUV will most likely feature a 50 kilowatt hour battery pack, which should ensure around 400 kilometers on a single charge. Number 15, MG ZS EV, 18 lakh. With the recent price cut of nearly four lakh, the MG ZS EV significantly improves its position on the list of cheapest EVs in India. Now the price starts at around 18 lakh, which is an excellent price for a compact crossover. Respectable dimensions, modern design, and good ride quality are just some of its strengths. While we also like the interior design a lot, we like it because it's pretty much the same as in the gas-powered version. With a conventional dashboard design and no-nonsense ergonomics, Furthermore, the seats are spacious and comfortable, and 450 liters of boot space is another benefit that comes with a crossover body style. But what makes the MG ZS EV such a great proposal is under the skin. Despite the price, the crossover features a pretty capable 175 horsepower electric motor mounted on the front axle, which spins the wheels fast enough to ensure 0 to 100 sprint in just 8.5 seconds. Then, there is the 50 kilowatt hour battery pack that provides 460 kilometers of range, while the 80 kilowatt rate is definitely above average charging speed in this price range. Number 14, Mahindra XUV 400 EV, 15 lakh. In India, less than $19,000 is enough to get this fine looking all electric crossover. The first thing you'll notice is the attractive front end design, but we find its interior even more appealing. Fine materials and elegant dashboard design make such a good combo while the generous offer of tech features, which includes a decently sized infotainment screen and a digital instrument cluster, elevates everything to the next level. The cabin is, at the same time, spacious enough to accommodate adults in both rows, while the boot space of 368 liters also seems quite decent. A single 150 horsepower electric motor ensures pretty good overall performance, including a 0 to 100 km hour time of 8.3 seconds, as well as a top speed of 150 km an hour. A 50 kilowatt hour battery pack seems quite decent for a vehicle that costs 15 lakh, and it ensures around 450 km of range, while the DC charging rate of 50 kilowatts ensures that 80% of the battery gets recharged in about 50 minutes. Number 13, Tata Nexon, 15 lakh. You will hardly find a better looking crossover at this price range because the Nexon has everything. A futuristic front end design, sculpted body, and one of the nicest cabins in its class. The cabin looks particularly interesting with its futuristic approach that involves a lot of latest tech goodies, including a couple of large screens, which create great synergy with the overall elegant dashboard layout. Once you sit inside the Nexon, it's hard to believe it costs just 15 lakh. But this small EV isn't just about the style. Besides form, there is also a substance, and in this case, it refers to the 145 horsepower electric motor that makes the Nexon capable of hitting 100 kilometers an hour in less than 9 seconds, while the top speed goes up to 150 kilometers an hour. As for the battery, Base versions come with a 40 kilowatt hour pack, which has enough juice to make 465 kilometers on a single charge, according to the manufacturer. Number 12, Tata Tigor. 12 lock. We may live in the era of SUVs and crossovers, but there is still a good number of customers with prefer the good old four-door sedan layout. And if they're also looking for an EV, the Tata Tigor imposes itself as a natural choice. Small and maneuverable, this sedan now also comes in an all-electric version, which has been around for nearly five years. But despite the age and the classic design approach, the Tigor still has a lot of great things to offer. Besides passenger space and comfort, there is also a boot space of over 300 liters. The 75 horsepower electric motor won't blow your mind with performance, but it's plenty enough for daily commuting, while the 26 kilowatt hour battery ensures up to 315 kilometers of range. Number 11, Tata Altras, 12 lakh. Soon enough, 12 lakh, which equals $14,500, will be enough to buy a pretty decent EV as the Indian car maker is preparing another model with cheap transportation in mind. The Tata Altras is expected to hit the market by the end of this year and despite the cheap price, it will be decently sized and feature a five-door hatchback layout, just like the ICE version, which has been around for a few years. 
Of course, the all-electric iteration will bring all the benefits of zero emissions vehicles, and while the specs are yet to be announced, it looks pretty much for sure that the battery will be the same one as in the Tigar, with a 26 kilowatt hour capacity, which should be enough to ensure over 300 kilometers on a single charge. Number 10, Citrion EC3 11 Lock. Citrion is one of the rare European brands that competes on the Indian market successfully, and that's because it's managed to offer its product at a price that suits the Indian population. The EC3 is a perfect example, as it comes as one of the most affordable EVs in the world's most populated country. And one look is enough to see that the EC3 brings out that typical French charm and one of its key strengths. The exterior looks stylish, while the cabin is characterized by an impressive blend of funkiness and practicality. Lots of fancy-looking details make this cabin special, but it's also great to know that there is a decent amount of space despite the compact overall dimensions. On the other hand, where things could be better is the powertrain. You won't get much sauce from that single 60-horsepower electric motor, but we presume that's enough for cruising around town. Along with it, you get a 29.2 kilowatt hour battery pack, which provides up to 320 kilometers per charge according to the manufacturer. Number nine, Tata Punch. 10 lock. The Tata Punch takes the place of the smallest crossover in the company's lineup, and now it gets an all electric version, which had a premiere only two months ago. In other words, this is a brand new EV with some pretty advanced design solutions and tech features, which come with a pretty attractive sticker price of 10 lock. Of course, the first thing you'll notice is the modern styling, which is complemented by a high quality interior, full of advanced tech features, including a digital instrument cluster and a massive tablet-like infotainment screen. As for the power, you get a single 120 horsepower electric motor that takes this crossover from zero to 100 in about 9.5 seconds. As for the battery, the cheapest version comes with a 35 kilowatt hour unit and a max range of over 400 kilometers, as well as a 50 kilowatt charging rate. Number eight, Tata Curve, 10 lock. With every new model, Tata is breaking the new barrier when it comes to EV affordability, and the Curve will be yet another example. This is the upcoming model, which already had a premiere, and the company estimates a starting price of around 10 lakh, which translates to $12,600 according to the current exchange rates. And while the specs are still kept a secret, we can talk a little bit about aesthetics, which will definitely be one of the model's key selling points. Just look at that gorgeous sloping roofline that creates the feel of a coupe SUV. Things look as impressive on the inside, where you can find a minimalist dashboard design, complemented by high-end tech features, something you definitely don't expect to see in this price range. Number 7. Tata Tiago EV 7 Lock With every new day, EVs are becoming more affordable, so much so that a car costs just 7 lock. It takes only the 7th place on our list. Yes, we're talking about the Tata Tiago the well-known player in the Indian market. The gas-powered version has been around since 2016, while the all-electric iteration was introduced just two years ago. The overall layout is pretty much the same as in the gas-powered counterpart. The Tiago is small, maneuverable, and affordable, but also quite practical with attached back body style. As for the battery base models are a 19 kilowatt hour pack, while a 24 kilowatt hour is available, so the range goes between 250 and 350 kilometers respectively. Depending on the battery, the electric motor puts out 60 or 75 horsepower. Number six, GWM Aura R1. The Chinese well-known and well-established automaker Great Wall Motors is preparing a brand new model for India called Aura R1. And besides an attractive price, it will also offer some quite respectable performance. But there is the aesthetical aspect of the car, which will definitely draw a lot of interested customers thanks to its styling, which obviously takes a lot of inspiration from the Honda E. The cabin looks appealing as well, and also features a lot of standard and available equipment, including a quite massive 19-inch infotainment screen. Under the skin, the Aura R1 has a lot of juice to offer. Its 33-kilowatt-hour battery is claimed to be capable of providing over 300 kilometers on a single charge, while DC fast charging is capable enough to get you from 30% to 80% in just 30 minutes. Finally, the battery comes coupled with a 47-horsepower front-mounted electric motor, which is plenty enough for daily commuting. Number 5. Vevi Mobility EVA 6 Lock The Vevi Mobility EVA is not just one of the cheapest, it also is one of the most unique EVs on the Indian market. More precisely, it will be because its arrival is expected later this year. 
and by that we mean various things. First of all, there is an untypical layout with just three seats, but that's just the beginning. The most interesting feature is the roof solar panel, which can gather enough energy to provide 3,000 kilometers of range on a yearly basis. Besides solar panels, there is also a classic EV battery, which has the capacity to ensure around 250 kilometers per charge. All that comes coupled with an 8-horsepower motor, which should be able to provide a top speed of around 70 kilometers an hour. Number 4. MG Comet 6 Lock Considering that China is considered the frontrunner in the EV industry, it doesn't surprise that some of the cheapest EVs on the Indian market come from companies like MG. Its model, called the Comet, costs just 6 lakh, and for that sum, you actually get a lot. Compact dimensions make it perfect for the urban environment, but the 17 kilowatt hour battery actually offers pretty decent 250 kilometer autonomy, meaning that you may have relatively long distances with it as well. 40 horsepower is quite enough for convenient urban cruising, while we particularly like the dashboard design, with its simple layout and excellent ergonomics that are enriched with a couple of modern screens. Number 3. PMW Ease 4 Lock India has a long tradition of making microcars, so the PMW Ease comes as a logical consequence. With its tiny dimensions, it's obvious that it's meant for urban transportation. Of course, size is one of the reasons for its super affordable price of just 4 lakh, which would be around $5,700 when translated to US dollars. Other than the size, the PMW Ease stands out with its compact battery pack that ensures around 160 kilometers of range, while the 14 horsepower seems plenty enough to move this two-seater with ease. The cabin looks pretty nice with two screens, while there is even a tiny 30-liter boot, enough to make an everyday ride more convenient. Number 2. Storm Motors 4 Lock It's pretty clear that the distinctive exterior design is one of the key selling points of these affordable EVs. First of all, there is a three-wheel layout, which works great in a combination futuristic aesthetical approach. Furthermore, there is a nice cabin layout which combines a simple dash design with a couple of rather small but quite transparent digital screens. Finally, this two-seater seems quite practical with its 300-liter boot capacity. Now, a few words about the technical aspect of the vehicle. Starting from the 20-horsepower electric motor that provides a top speed of 80 kilometers an hour. The fact that the electric motor is, unlike in most competitors, mounted on the rear end makes this EV a particularly interesting proposal. Then, there is also the battery, which provides a quite decent 200 kilometers on a single charge. Number 1. Tata Nano EV 4 Lock If you live in India and look for cheap transportation, the Nano EV imposes itself as one of the best choices around. For the pretty affordable price of 4 Lock, which is close to $4,800 according to the current exchange rate, you get a compact design that looks kind of familiar. And that's because we are talking about a familiar platform, which has been converted to an all-electric layout. This kind of familiarity with the product definitely helps, but there is also a pretty decent performance thanks to the 23-horsepower front-mounted electric motor that provides a top speed of 80 kilometers an hour, while the company also claims a max range of 160 kilometers. Once again, pretty decent figures. And once again, despite the affordable price, there's everything you would expect from a modern car, starting from dual airbags, a semi-digital instrument cluster, a 7-inch infotainment screen, and many more. Thanks for watching and see you next time.